switch sides? Curse, curse, I am, curse, I am the, the, the real, real Sonic. I am the, uh, I am, I am real, huh? Hmm. All right, you make a fair point. Listen, Cream, you've got good morals, and you stick to them, but you're not a pushover either, and that's pretty impressive. The problem is, Metal isn't like what you think. You can't win him over like Omega or Grimmel, or heck, even Shadow for that matter. Believe me, I've tried talking, but Metal just won't listen. Well, that still doesn't mean you have to fight all the time. Hey, you're more a pacifist, I get it. You want to see the good in everyone. And I'll admit, despite the jokes I make, Metal is smart. He knows how to use your morals against you. After everything he's done, I can't risk him backstabbing me at some point. And I definitely don't want anything to happen to you or... or anyone. <sighs> Sticking to your heart, but don't ignore your gut feelings, cool? Metal thinks you'll give him the benefit of doubt. Prove him wrong. Hmm. Alright. Well, if you fought him, did you at least win? Heck yeah, I won! Spin dashed straight into that sucker and knocked him down. Then Amy bashed his arms clean off! It was so cool, you should've... Oh, uh, sorry, was that TMI? <laughs> it's alright. I guess even pacifists have to put their foot down every once in a while, right? Exactly. If you stick with that mentality, kid, you're gonna go far. And don't be afraid to hit people. If it's in defense, I mean. Or if they're being stupid. Or if it's some moron trying to take over the world or something. And especially if it's metal. Because sometimes, staying on the defensive is all you can do with that guy. <sighs> that won't work. There has to be some way to fix this. No, no, no! Ugh, I told you! I don't want to hear excuses. This is the last time I trust you two bolt brains with something as important as the laundry. I specifically told you not to mix the lights and darks. Now all my socks are pink. Do you realize how non-threatening the color pink is? What am I supposed to wear when I inevitably take over the world? Maybe everyone will be incapacitated from laughing so hard. One more word out of you and I'll turn you into the washing machine. Ahem. <clears throat> Master, I have returned. And furthermore, I... Ah, uh, Metal. As expected, you're ahead of schedule. Welcome back. Does this mean we're still on laundry duty? Quiet, you. Anywho, how did the battle with Sonic go? Less than optimal. I... I see. Well, that explains why the power readings are so low, especially in your left arm. Hmm. As I previously stated, I did not allow Sonic to leave the battle without his fair share of wounds. Well done, but... Additionally, I have logged all the new information into my upgraded database for future reference. My tracking systems are still fully functional. With your permission, I can still find them. You always get chatty whenever your CPU is fried. My apologies. I'm not angry, Metal. Just concerned. Metal! Hop onto the table so I can make sure your code is working properly. And to reattach your arm. Don't panic, don't panic, don't panic. Master wants to fix me. He is not angry. He will not act irrationally. He would not reprogram me without notable reason. This is different than last time. Running, diagnostics, increased speed when systems fail under pressure. Miscalculations noted. Error fixed. Orbot, Cubot, go finish the rest of your chores. Now where is that screwdriver? Huh? What? Oh, I see. You've noticed my new blueprints. Mm. May I inquire what for? Just a little side project I've been chipping away at. Now stay on the table and keep still. It appears to be another robotic clone of Sonic. Oh, don't get jealous, Metal. It won't take your job completely. Pardon me? Think about it. Two robotic clones of that bothersome blue rodent. Twice the power and twice the mayhem. I can't fathom why I never thought to try this method before. Yeah, like you never thought of that before. Wait. What if... What if this clone is meant to keep tabs on me? Does... Does he know? Is Eggman aware I bypassed his programming? How could he have... Oh, for the love of chaos. Metal, when I said think about it, I did not mean pop a circuit breaker. Besides, this one isn't even designed for speed. He'll be more like your, uh, sidekick. Hmm. Sonic has that annoying little fox, so it's only fitting that you get a far superior version. I do not require assistance from something as insignificant as... Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, Metal. Remember who's in charge here. Of course, Master. Regardless, I have to be sure everything is calibrated. He needs a test run, and I need to be certain he won't go crazy. Now, all I need is a chaos drive. So that's where you come in. Once your arm is reattached, and with all those new fancy scanners I updated you with... 
finding that emerald would be a piece of cake. Your wisdom precedes you, master. Thank you, Metal, but I already knew that. All right, fetching a Chaos Emerald is not the chore of a lowly badnik, meaning I must still have some of his trust, I assume. Regardless, I cannot allow this, this faker, to take my place as a real Sonic. I cannot allow it to sabotage everything I worked so hard to restore. And most importantly, I cannot allow it the opportunity to destroy Sonic before I do. I will not be made a mockery any longer. Priority status updated. Retrieve the Chaos Emerald at any cost. Eliminate all who oppose.